have two sons. The eldest, his name is Akili, he's four. Found out that he had sickle cell at four months. He had a consistent yellowing of the eyes. When I realized it wasn't getting any better, I decided that I was going to take him to the doctor. Dr. Palomino Lu immediately decided to examine him. When she checked his side, she recognized that there was a little enlargement there, and that is the spleen. The spleen is only felt in children that have sickle cell. At this time when she mentioned sickle cell to me, my whole world had went topsy-turvy. I mean, at that point in time, there was no thinking positive because I've lost a cousin to the disease already. I just didn't know how to handle it. Sickle cell is a blood disease. It's an inherited blood disease. So you have to get a gene from your mother and a gene from your father for an individual to have sickle cell disease. And basically, red cells, which is what gives your blood the red color, are usually round. But in persons who have this disease, the cells tend to be sickle-shaped. Normal hemoglobin, there's iron, but the iron is in the middle, hiding. Because of the change in the mutation, the iron pops out and the iron just goes around reacting with everything in sight. So sometimes the cells come together and block the vessels and that's what we get in pain for crisis. It happens in the bone, in the vessels. So if you have blockage in a big vessel in the brain, you get a stroke. It's been a journey, a very interesting journey. Um, ups and downs, peaks and valleys of him being in and out of hospital. He, you know, was transferred to the sickle cell unit up by UWE. He had to be doing several blood transfusions. He was having heart failure, so to speak. He had a spleen that kept on getting enlarged. Now the spleen is there to help to protect them against germs and bacteria that is out there. And so that is what the spleen does. It collects the bacteria, but also when it gets enlarged, it poses a risk to them. It can burst and it can create complications and they can die. They had to remove the spleen at age two. Ever since they had removed it, he now started suffering from the acute chest. And that happens because the spleen is no longer there. So the acute chest is similar to pneumonia. All the time we had school, I get drums and, 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 and I get a coat and I get sick. What I try to do um, is to just ensure that he has a lot of fresh fruits um, and vegetables. Uh, try not to give him anything that's pre-processed. It's a lot of work to maintain a child with sickle cell. You really have to love them, you have to support them, and emotionally you just have to make sure that you're always there with them 100% every step of the way. I can't tell you how important the support of family is. Your highest risk of dying from sickle cell disease is in your first two to three years. But many people are not actually diagnosed until five years and up. So that danger zone is there. By doing newborn screening, as early as two months, you can start preventative measures. For each person that don't know their status, they need to know. You need to know if you have the trait. My son having the trait, he now needs to know, understand that his brother has sickle cell and when he gets to that age, he will learn about it. But he will also need to know that if you meet someone that has the trait, you have to, you have to be very careful. If you've done a proper test and you don't have a trait at all, you can't have a child with sickle cell disease, right? Now, if you have the sickle cell disease or you have a trait, screen early to find out what is the risk with this other person and then you can make up your mind are you willing to take that risk we are here to distribute shirts for the sigma run part of the contribution from the sigma run will be going towards the sickle cell unit in this week's episode we look at how scotiabank is helping with a fight for sickle cell awareness in jamaica we registered 125 kids 
to participate. The kids came from the children of employees, as well as friends, and in particular, the Holy Family Infant and Primary School. We were delighted here at Holy Family to be given this great opportunity for our kids to participate in the Sigma Run. We have children here who suffer from sickle cell, and of such, this opportunity will give them the chance to be more aware. Well, I feel great because knowing that I could run for the people, children who have sickle cell and, un and parents to helping them to, like take care of it and control their sickle cell matters. I have sickle cell disease. I've been living with it from I've been a child. It's very painful. Every time she gets sick, I help her by carrying her stuff, spreading her bed, carrying her to the bathroom. They suffer, and when I tell you that they suffer, believe me, they suffer when they're having pain in their limbs, anywhere at all. There's nothing sometimes that you can do. Most people in Jamaica are not really aware of what sickle cell really do, does to a person, especially a child. Sometimes there are children who are asking to be, they want to die because of this pain, it is so severe. On Sunday morning, you're going to be young Scotia bankers walking for sickle cell. I'm here to support the kids. We're walking for the kids in support of the kids um, who have sickle cell. Inside Scotia Bank, we focus on health and wellness. So whenever there is a run, the entire organization becomes excited and want to participate. Do as proud as you do every single day, every moment, every, every day. Mighty, mighty Scotia Bank. Mighty, mighty Scotia Bank. This year we have a team of 550 participating in the run for the cause. I'm really glad to see that Corporate Jamaica has dedicated the Sigma Run to supporting the sickle cell unit. When they're doing these events and they're going towards the sickle cell clinic itself, they will be able to provide the resources to help these children, the adults that suffer from the disease. The IEF, which is what we're getting through Sagicor Sigma, is our isoelectric focusing machine. And that come up to close to 80,000 US dollars. Such a huge team, almost half a million dollars donated to the cause. Woo! Save our children, save our future. If I wanted to donate, $500 or $5,000, it really wouldn't make a big difference. But when 22,000 people donate money, it makes a grand difference and it makes a difference for Jamaica and the future of our children. It is important for us to participate in runs like these because it allows us to demonstrate our commitment to supporting Jamaica. Thank you, Scotia Bank. Thank you, thank you very much for what you are doing, not just for um, my grandson, but for all of the sicklers, all of those who have sickle cell disease in Jamaica. The teller is brought to you by Scotia Bank. <laughs>